what would you want your legacy to be? Or in other words, how do you want to be remembered as Miss Santa Maria 2020? So that would be for 2021. How would you want to be remembered as Miss Santa Maria should you win this 2020? Thank you. So, first of all, if I would win the crown and be your Miss Santa Maria this year, I would want to be myself remembered by the way that um, I want to make myself an instrument of leadership and be that image of strength and positivity to what I, I mean for all of the Santa Marias. You know what? For uh, for the past years, we've been discovering and we have been um, entering the door for uh, a better community. And for me, as your uh, good example, as a Miss Santa Maria, I would want to be remembered by helping our community, specifically our Santa Maria, by implementing the different rules and policies like the, the one that I, I randomly picked before, the no, how not, no travel policy, implementing the solid waste management and the like. So for this, by just helping our uh, Santa Maria, it would, I, I mean, it would bring great impact to the progress of our environment and also for our community. Thank you so much. Number one, Jezebel Galitwen. Please do join us, candidate number two, Maricar Escobo Rapanol. Can you pick the judge? And your question will come from Mirasol, the Jessica. Yes, good evening. Okay, so this is my question to you. If you were given the chance to change something from the past, what would it be and why? If you were given the chance to change something from the past, what would it be and why? Kung pagbibigyan po ako ng pagkakataon na Thank you very much, candidate number two from Lipsong, Marikar Rapanol. Now let's uh, listen to candidate number three, Shilami Magno Casimiro. The name of the church who will ask you this question. Mamira again. Good evening, Miss Kaoplasa. Good evening. Ma. How do you feel tonight? I feel happy and also nervous. Okay, so here's your question. Who is the most influential person? in your life and why? Who is the most influential person in your life and why? Thank you for that wonderful question. For me, the most influential person in my life is my mother. Because I believe my mother is kind, brave, compassionate, and a true epitome of a God-fearing woman. She's a blessing for me and for others. That's my mother. That's the person who I want to be like in the future. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number three, Shilame Magno Asimiro. And 
Pastor Aaron Manala. Hello. Um, my question is, what makes you unique? What makes you unique? Well, you know what, sir? I am very optimistic and realistic person. And with this, I am thankful for what I am because I understand everything that what really happens in my life or to see. Well, what makes me unique is because I have the purpose. I carry advocacy and I believe that I can show to everyone that if I win tonight, every time they see me, I want them to always remember, to be always be guided, that you should be responsible enough, have the discipline, and be a productive member of the society. Well, I am unique because I am like a mushroom. We celebrate mushroom because we acknowledge the contribution to the importance of mushroom in the society. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Candidate number 22, Miguel Arquetri Solian Pablo. Let's hear it from Candidate number 4, Alina Chenin Pena Fachila. Okay, can I get a piece of paper? And your question will come from Sir Arvin. Good evening, Ms. Alejandro. Good evening, sir. Um, here's the question. Uh, perhaps later in life, you would have a daughter of your own. And when that happens, and your daughter grows, grows to become exactly like you, the question is, would you allow your daughter to be involved in pageantry, why or why not? When I get old and have a daughter, I would like my daughter to join pageants like this because this provides opportunities for her to promote her advocacies and be a role model for her fellow youth because my daughter will have a purpose in life and be a role model for everyone. That would be all. Thank you very much, candidate number four. Alia Shani, Kaile Kachila. Now, let's welcome candidate number 13, Jokili Gonavise Sogitan. Okay, your question will come from Dr. Emilio Suniga. Good evening, candidate number 13. Good evening, sir. Okay, are you ready? Always ready. Okay. So, here's my question. What do you think is the biggest problem facing young people today? Ang pinakamalaking hinaharap ng mga katulad kong kabataan ay ang malulong sa droga, magwalwal sa school at pati na rin ang pagpubuntis ng maaga. Pero, huwag mo silang uh, musgahan. Hindi natin alam kung ano ang pinagtadaanan nila. Kaya kung um, um, kung yun naman ang mangyari sa akin, hihingi ako ng tulong. Kasi, hindi naman basta-basta tayo um, magre-rebelde kung walang kung walang um, kung walang um, walang taong um, nanghuhusga sa'yo or nagtataon sa'yo yun lamang po maraming salamat Thank you very much Sally Number 13 Joylen Jolabise Subitan It's a joyous year Kanan Number 5 Kanan Stephanie Nagatao Tugado Okay, 
candidate number five. Your question is, why do you think that you are the best candidate for the title? Why do you think that you are the best candidate for the title? Thank you, Bo. Well, I guess I am the best candidate for the title because first, as what have my other candidates has stated, we all have a purpose. Second, we have advocacy. And my advocacy is to win every kabataan because I still believe in what Dr. Sarizal has said that kabataan is pagasa ng bayan. If we are being able to uplift their potential or to bring out their biggest potential, I guess, this kabataan would be a leader someday and I know that they would be a great contribution for the betterment of our community, municipality, or even our country. That would be all. Thank you. Your question will come from Sergio Manana. In case you will be crowned as Miss Santa Barbara 2020, sorry, Santa Maria. What can you address to the people who doesn't appreciate your winning title? Good evening, sir. Thank you for that wonderful question. If I will be crowned as the Miss Santa Maria, I would like to address the people that I am. I am the one who is um, who is the one to be crowned because I believe in my own beauty. I believe in myself, and that will be my advocacy to believe in yourself and your own beauty and live on your dreams. Believe in your capabilities because with this you will be successful in life and you will achieve whatever dreams you may have. That will be all. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 11. Never pass by anyone on your email. Two more days, and next we are going to do candidate number 10. qualities parents could share to their children? Thank you for that question, Mo. Ang pinakamagandang ituro ng mga magulang sa kanilang mga anak ay dapat na laging laging nasa puso nila ang ating Panginoon. Yun lang po. Thank you very much, candidate number 10, Micaela Castillo Parel. And our last semi-finalist, candidate number 8, Catherine Ann Mahadanda. I think you don't have any other choice, but to have a question from... Mom Real. Hello, candidate number 8. Here's your question. What is the best movie you've ever watched? And what makes it the best? For me, the best movie I've ever watched is The Breakthrough. Why? Because it... it because it shows us to believe in God no matter what happens. Believe in God no matter how big your problem is because God, because God, He can do everything. I believe in that. I believe in that. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you once again our 10 lovely semi-finalists.